Jack. I couldn't be bothered putting clothes on after the shower, so I sat down, naked and dripping on this chair. When it is damp later, I wonder why. Why the wine bottle was half full last night, but by morning it was half empty. I had a glass half full night out, and a glass half empty hangover. He gave me a plastic cup of water before I slept, and a fresh one when I woke. He gave me a vitamin B and chocolate while I told him about heartbreak. And in the morning, he gave me a stern lecture about why I shouldn't text boys back. <laughs> I kissed him goodnight last night for the first time, maybe the last time. I didn't know how, know how else to physicalize how much love I felt. Physicalize the physical lies of a glass half full friendship in a glass half empty situation. I said I'd drive him to the airport. I don't know how I will, I'll walk away. I don't know how I'll leave alone. It'll be like forgetting part of me on the baggage carrier, going round in circles. Going round in circles. Without him, I'm going round in circles, unable to stop. I will cry into chocolate and vitamin B. I will drink vodka that tastes like his shoulder blade. I will write poems in the shapes of his laughter and I will try to keep my bed half full, but without him, my bed will always be half empty. I never believed in the phrase of a half, always feeling like I was complete on my own, but my best friend is leaving this country, and without him, nowhere feels like home.